So one of the most anticipated anime of the year just dropped its first episode and wow just the opening itself is one of the best in anime that you can enjoy from and one of the best parts of it depending on who you are or what you like is crazy good because most of the shots or scenes pay homage or reference other Hollywood movies whilst others also are related to manga among others and of course the visuals in this episode come on it's freaking mappa like was there any doubt at all Anyway, in this video, I'm gonna be going over some of the movie shots that are referenced in the opening of the anime and of course compare the shot by shot with the scene that is the video of course if I can find it and the picture if I don't. So I'll be going over the movie references first before the other ones so let's just dive into it. So the start of the opening where you see these characters walking the streets in suits is a reference to Quentin Tarantino's 1992 movie called Reservoir Dogs and just like the shot in the anime introducing these characters that we've never seen before well except for the one that we met at the ending scene in the episode but that's not relevant here since this is the start of the anime and we know nothing about these characters by the way the same shot from Tarantino's movie that inspired this shot was also one of the opening shots of the movie which introduces these characters who we are going to follow in the story and even the soundtrack behind both of them sound similar <laughs> The next shot is of Denji hugging Pochita at a graveyard and looking at the shot after watching the episode, this is in the graveyard that he meets his little chainsaw friend. And with that in mind and also realizing the opening is referring to movie shots, I just googled the heck out of graveyards, I mean in movies of course. And adding that to the title like Chainsaw Man, I decided to go with that first and I tried my searches and of course it is referencing Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This Denji and Pochita shot may have been recognized by horror fans as almost the exact same shot in the 1994 film and it is the opening shot of the movie too and it's that of a corpse holding on to what i believe to be a head a decomposing one at that and the meaning in this scene of course if you compare them it's kind of the opposite to the anime the opening shot is about death sadness and all that whilst the anime this happy scene of these two friends denji hugging the only one who cares about him and vice versa and even though he could have also at the end of the day turned into a corpse also which is going to be sad the present by the end of the episode he's saved by his friend the next reference is of a character we haven't been introduced yet sitting in what i believe to be a diner and um, pointing a gun at someone like shit is about to go down so coincidentally i watched a reaction to pop fiction just quite recently and when i saw this shot it just instantly clicked and this is another Tarantino reference which, <laughs> let me say this, isn't going to be the last in this video. So this 1994 Pulp Fiction movie is of Samuel Jackson's Jules trying to get his wallet back from Tim Rath's Ringo who is robbing him and gives us this iconic line in one of the best scenes in this classic gem of a movie. Ezekiel 2517, path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Getting on to the next shot is of Denji who is transformed fighting Katana Man, yes <laughs> Katana Man just like Chainsaw Man, someone we are yet to be introduced to as well. Anyway the setting of this scene is a reference to the 2016 Japanese horror film Sadako vs Kayako and as we see the titular monsters I don't know if they are ghosts or monsters as I said I haven't watched the movie I only researched it to do this video but I believe they are fighting each other hence the verses separating their names. This shot in the opening is of another character we are also yet to see again and he's sitting in a room which appears to be a motel of some sort and he's taking his shoe off and I was like Wait a minute! This looks so familiar and that's because this scene this anime is referencing is a very memorable one and it's from No Country for Old Men where Javier's character Anton after sending some people to the afterlife like there is a very crazy shootout in this scene so he comes to the room and takes his socks off don't know why he did that it may be smelling and sweaty or of course him being a fashion conscious hitman he would take them off and um well this makes me think that this character is also about to tear this motel down anime style now as i said before the tarantino references don't stop here and this is another reference to his movie we see in this short denji and aki driving which mirrors the 2019's once upon a time in hollywood one of the opening scenes where leonardo dicaprio and brad pitt's characters are pulling out of the driveway 
The next shot is of these characters who are in a less spacious room with a diagram of the Tomato Devil which Denji killed in the episode. And this shot is befitting as it's referencing the movie Attack of the Killer Tomato. And I think the only character I remember in this shot is Kobeni, maybe because her backside jolted her name back into my memory. <laughs> now the next movie reference is of Denji with his hands over his mouth in the quarrel like he's looking at something that is horrifying and is scared out of his mind. And we see Power who is behind him laughing her ass off. This shot is referencing Hideo Nakata's 1996 horror film Don't Look Up. The plot is about the making of a wartime drama at a very old movie studio in which it's haunted by a mysterious woman. We then get this shot of Angel Devil here in this scene and she's sitting on the stairs which is referencing the ending scene of this psychological film from the 1990s Jacob's Ladder in which Gabe Singer is sitting on the stairs. We then see Himeno handing something off to Aki in the next shot on a rooftop and it's actually referencing Keanu Reeves 2005 Constantine, an amazing film by the way and there's even a sequel that just got announced a couple of weeks ago, should I say more than a month ago. Anyway, this scene is after Constantine is cured of his lung cancer, of course, if you know the character, you know he's a heavy smoker. Anyway, Lucifer heals him and that of his other injuries and he hands over the spear to Rachel Wise's character, Angela, and both of them go their separate ways as Constantine is left with his thoughts on which journey awaits him next. The next scene which truly pays homage to all these movies and this opening scene is when all these characters are sitting in the movie theater and it's as if they are even watching the opening or even the episode themselves or maybe, just maybe, the movies that they are referencing. Now the next shot of scene is of Denji and his new friends at a bowling alley with Denji using a piece of cloth rapidly wiping down his bowling ball and of course there's no other bowling movie with a ridiculous and funny scene other than the Coen Brothers 1998 comedy movie The Big Lebowski which has this incredible iconic scene where Jesus Quintana or he Jesus uses this same method on his bowling ball. The next shot is this girl in the bikini on the beach which feels and looks like this is just a test strap just by looking at it. Now the title power is displayed over here with lighting effects and if you've watched Thor of the Thunder you know that this is the type of font that they've used for their own title as well down to the color and everything. And it's no surprise also because Fujimoto has expressed his love for Taika Waititi's films. Now when Denji rips his way out of a devil in the next shot it's similar to when Naruto drawing the pain arc when it's transforming into the nine tails or shall I say the midway point he burst out of pain's planetary devastation it matches this shot. Onto the next shot, referencing the movies of Denji in his chainsaw transformation, standing next to a gold like ball, which is a reference to the scene with a giant golden like ball in Brad Pitt and Edward Norton's film Fight Club. And we even see Power hit it with a weapon in the next shot. The next shot where Power is walking away from an explosion references Fujimoto's own work, Goodbye Eri, where the protagonist also walks away from an explosion, much like how many Hollywood films and not even only that have these type of sequences in them. On to the next, we have Denji and Power dancing, which looked familiar, almost like a cartoon that I had watched years ago. And lo and behold, it was a reference to Mickey Mouse hot dog dance. Now that's all for the movie references, of course there were some one or two anime in them. So now let's move on to some of the references that are either based on stories, books and real life stuff. So let's get right into it. Now the very first shot of the opening is of Denji pulling his string to transform. And in the background is an engraving of the Divine Comedy, an Italian narrative poem written by Dante. We then move on to the middle of the opening where there's a shot of Denji on the lap of Makima. And there's a Venus fly trap that is forming in the scene. These are carnivorous plants that catch more also see her feeding him this parasite sorry i'm not gonna embarrass myself by pronouncing it you can do so if you want to so these parasites infest the eye stalks of these slugs and in short mind controls them this just says a lot about these characters these two characters in particular and their relationship and what is going to be like in the show in short she is a venus fly trap who's got him trapped or hooked onto her and she feeds him this parasite as a symbol of her controlling him and he's basically going to be doing whatever she wants in the show no questions asked now right after this cute shot of Denji and Puchita cuddling while sleeping, we get a shot of Denji and Power and it quickly pans up to Aki and Makima who are staring at an illustrations of Manipulation de lo Meteo. I don't know how long, <laughs> if I could give you the blueprints of recording this, <laughs> you will laugh so, you all laugh so hard that you will start crying. By the way, it's a technique used by partisans to create an argument that favors their own interest and basically it just shows how ignorance is blazed and that knowledge gained 
would cause one to learn more about the problems of the world. Now, our last reference in this video is a fight sequence in the middle of the opening scene where Denji crashes in three places, two into a wall and one onto a road. And each of the holes he makes appears to be a letter. C S M. I think you all can see where this is leading up to. It's the reference to his own name. Now that's all that I could spot. To start off an anime like this, the voice acting, the visuals, the music, the start of this story, which I believe is going to be incredible. I know that manga readers already know this. It's just that everything clicked so well. It was beyond amazing. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this first episode and all these references in the opening. I think I heard that there's going to be a new opening. Was it ending in each episode so expect this type of video each week so i hope you leave a like for the video it helps the channel out subscribe and turn on that post notification bell not to miss any other video as always nerdy sage here see you guys in the next one